Thanks to Cuts for sponsoring this video. Apple has a really big surprise that you need to know about. One more event may be in store before 2022 comes to a close. And if the rumors are true, it's gonna be big. 2022 has given us lots and lots of new products, but Apple isn't done just yet. So as we always do here on the Apple Circle, let's break down the latest Apple leaks, news, and rumors that you need to know about and talk about what could be in store for an Apple November event. Get ready because Apple's got one more thing that you definitely need to know about. In just a matter of days, we might be flying back through the spaceship at Apple Park and gracefully gliding around to hear from Hair Force One himself about more brand new Apple products. But also at the same time, this November event, frankly, might not happen. To be clear, Apple still has a couple of products to launch before the clock strikes midnight on December 31st, but it may not actually be worthy of a real Apple event. Instead, Apple might be making some announcements via press release like they did with the iPad Pro, 10th gen iPad, and the Apple TV. And what we've seen over the last couple of days or so is that uh, people aren't super jazzed about what Apple just announced via press release. These new iPad updates, or lack of new updates in some cases, aren't uh, really getting anybody excited about what Apple could have in store. And if history has taught us anything, with very few exceptions, if Apple doesn't hold an event to announce a brand new product, it usually isn't worth a ton of attention. And that's sort of where we find ourselves right now in a little bit of a tricky situation. On one hand, there are rumors that Apple does have some big surprises in store for us and some great new products before the end of 2022. But on the other hand, the company just could sort of wait out the clock and then ramp back up in January. So we really don't know which direction the company is gonna take. Okay, so event or not, if Apple does decide to release some all new products, hopefully before the end of the year, like in November, what could we see? Well, let me start first uh, really quickly here with stuff we're not going to see and sort of rapid fire through some of these. Uh, no new iPads because we just got a new iPad Pro, new iPad Pro, 10th gen iPad, iPad mini and iPad Air are still pretty new. iPhone 14 is still relatively new as well, though because of some of that recent drama, I wonder if we could see some sort of earlier than usual mid-cycle refresh, maybe new color, maybe some new discounts, a price drop. Maybe that's a little bit of wishful thinking than what's gonna actually happen in reality but hey, we can dream about a price cut, right? And besides iPhone 14, could we see any other iPhone surprise before the end of the year? And honestly, I hate to say it, but probably not. Like I said, Apple will probably do some sort of mid-cycle color refresh with the iPhone 14, but still a little early for that right now. And the other iPhone, the iPhone SE, just got an update with the iPhone SE 3. Now we do have new rumors about an iPhone SE 4 adopting an iPhone XR style design that finally, once and for all, ditches the home button, but that's probably not gonna launch until 2023 at the earliest, if not sometime in 2024, if Apple sticks to their every other year strategy. So probably no big iPhone surprise happening uh, before the holiday season gets into full swing. But there is a product category in need of an update and one that is actually rumored to be getting a brand new edition. Now, AirPods Pro, still relatively new. These just came out, what, last month-ish? So these are still new. AirPods 3, again, still relatively new. But AirPods Max, Apple's ultimate over-the-ear audio experience has gone quite some time since an update. And of course, this is a first generation device. We don't know when the version two uh, release date could be, but according to rumors, looks like it could be happening sooner than later. And honestly, if you haven't heard, there's a lot of controversy surrounding AirPods Max right now, not because they're a bad product, but because some have found that in recent newer firmware updates that the active noise cancellation tech has gotten worse. So new updates have made things worse and Apple hasn't done anything. And some think that this is intentional, that Apple is sort of degrading AirPods Max performance now to make AirPods Max 2 or the newer AirPods Max sound even better than what we've got right now. 
sounds a little like a conspiracy theory, but we've seen Apple do similar things before with the battery processor throttling thing. So just gonna put that out there and you can make your own decision on whether this is a good thing and intentional or it's a bug that Apple's gotta fix. So with that in mind, we do have rumors that Apple could be launching a new version of AirPods Max with a couple of new additions. One would be a couple of new colors. So right now we have sort of your standard array of colors for AirPods Max. Maybe Apple makes these more vibrant. Maybe they add some new options that could be coming sometime soon. And also Apple would replace the H1 chip inside with the H2, similar to AirPods Pro. So you'd have better audio processing. You'd have a better uh, active noise cancellation, uh, maybe active transparency mode, and all the features of the smaller AirPods uh, Pro much better in the over-the-year experience that AirPods Max offer. Also, a price cut I don't think is considerably out of the question. I mean, the only people that really seem to carry uh, AirPods Max at full retail is Apple themselves. They're often always uh, at some sort of a discounted price on Amazon, at Best Buy and stuff like that. So maybe we could see a price decrease. Maybe, maybe it's more wishful thinking, uh, but that's a couple of things to keep in mind for the next generation of AirPods Max, maybe launching before the end of the year. Okay, now before we continue with more of Apple's final plans for 2022, let's take a break for just a moment because I've got to tell you guys about this amazing shirt. I love this shirt. I have a really hard time finding clothes that fit me well and that look good, but this shirt checks all the boxes and I can tell you if something looks great and it feels great, it's got a minimal design and a super premium. Undoubtedly, it is made by this video sponsor, Cuts. Now, if you haven't heard of Cuts before, let me introduce you to your premier destination for clothing that is comfortable, super high quality, minimal, and has got a great fit, and that's also just plainly super versatile. Cuts has got you covered with some amazing apparel if you're going back to school, going back into the office for work, you're filming YouTube videos, you're hanging out with friends. It's perfect for any time of year and any occasion as well. And I'll be honest with you guys, obviously, as you can tell, I am no model, uh, but I'll do my best to show off some of my favorite Cuts apparel, including one of my new favorites here. This is an AO long sleeve in this really sleek teakwood color. Thanks to the Pika Pro fabric, it is insanely comfortable and just has a really nice fit too. Same goes for the AO Curve Hem G I'm wearing right now in this signature black color. And I love that Cuts is focused on the important details, uh, like making premium minimal apparel and uh, choosing intentional color palettes for each season, not trying to plaster their apparel in huge gigantic logos. So if you want to learn more about Cuts and check it out for yourself today, which I definitely recommend you do, hit the link down below or you can get 15% off by going to cuts.team slash tack and use that coupon code tack to get 15% off your order. Next up, let's talk Macs. Apple actually has some big plans for the Mac line in 2023. We could see a couple of new models. We could see a bigger MacBook Air, a screen size, lots of cool stuff coming. But before the year wraps up, we actually could see a couple of new Mac models that a lot of you guys are gonna be very excited about. I saw some comments actually recently that people are buying MacBook Pros. Let me tell you, stop right now. Do not buy a MacBook Pro because an all new M2 MacBook Pro is coming within honestly a matter of days at this point. Don't expect any big change to the design, no new colors, no dynamic island, but the M1 Pro and M1 Max should be replaced by the more powerful and more efficient M2 Pro and M2 Max. So if you have been waiting uh, for a new MacBook Pro, now is gonna be a really good time once these new chips are in and the computer is refreshed. We've also heard a lot of back and forth rumors on an all new Mac mini. According to some sources, the Mac mini is gonna get a redesign, it's gonna get a pop of color, it's gonna get ports on the back, uh, like the MagSafe power cable from the iMac and a bunch bunch of uh, other ports that you can utilize. Lots of great upgrades there with the M2 chip inside. While other analysts believe Apple's gonna give the Mac mini an M2 chip and that's gonna be it. Not a huge uh, uh, occasion for a fanfare, but a smaller, more silent update just to appease Mac mini owners who want the new Apple Silicon inside. And then there's the Mac Pro, which is still sort of a mystery as of right now and is going to be sort of a late breaking uh, news story if it actually launches. Apple did say that they they would be showing off or teasing or talking about the Mac Pro in some capacity later on this year, but later on this year is sort of right now. We're almost out of time for 2022, so hopefully we see some new news on this Apple Silicon Mac Pro, though if it's gonna be released before the end of the year, that is still up for debate. Regardless of release window though, what we know right now is that Apple is going to be giving the Mac Pro a major redesign to probably shrink it down to accompany the awesome new power of 
crazy fast, crazy powerful Apple Silicon that is going to be inside of this mini cheese grater sort of thing. According to Mark Gurman at Bloomberg, the specs on this thing should be insane with an M2 Extreme chip inside. And according to Mark, at least one model Apple is testing has a 24 core CPU, 76 core GPU, and 192 gigabytes of memory. And again, that's just one config that Apple is testing. And then one more product that might or might not see the light of day this year is an all new HomePod. And we know that Apple is testing a couple of different HomePod models. One would be sort of a uh, rebirth of the larger HomePod brought back to life uh, in a new sort of form that had really great speakers inside and would be sort of an upgrade to the HomePod mini that we've got right now. Maybe some new color options on that as well. And we also know that Apple is testing a HomePod with a screen. According to Mark Gurman over at Bloomberg, Apple is testing some sort of device that would allow you to see visuals and also have a really great built-in speaker. Not sure if this is gonna be a HomePod with a built-in screen or an iPad that transforms into a home hub sort of device, sort of like what the new Pixel tablet is doing, uh, but a new HomePod could be coming soon. So for the uh, audio lovers out there, uh, the chance to get an all new full-size HomePod might be happening sooner than later as well. But as I mentioned before, Apple has a ton of plans for 2023. That's when we should see a lot of new products like the iPhone 15, a new Apple watch ultras, uh, new MacBook Airs, lots of great stuff happening next year. If you want to know everything that Apple is going to announce next year, I've already spilled the beans on that. I've got you covered. I'll leave that video linked up here and down below. But as of now, that's what we know about 2022. A couple of new products happening soon, but it's yet to be seen whether it's going to be a great update and maybe even event or some boring press releases to sort of round out the year with some solid upgrades to devices that certainly need them. But as always, I want to know your thoughts. Was 2022 a good year for Apple, a bad year for Apple? Do you think that there's enough here to hold a November event? Or do you think Apple is just sort of um, playing out the clock? Is that even, I'm um, obviously horrible at sports. Is that a term? Are they just sort of waiting for that uh, clock to reset for the next year? Or do you think they've got some more big surprises in store? As always, let me know your thoughts down below. And if you made it this this far, uh, just type sports or something down there because as we can all uh, sort of uh, laugh at in the comments, my sports knowledge is about zero. So there you go. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle, and I'll see you all in the next one.